Are from you Lagos. from Lagos in Nigeria? Yes. Nigeria. Yes. Yes. And you're something to do? Are you to do with the Quranic school or teaching actually, teaching the Quran? Actually, yes. I'm in the field. What do you mean in the field? I mean, um, uh, I learned in the. Sorry, I don't understand you. What do you mean in the field? What I mean is that I went to the university and I chose Islamic studies as a course. And I'm the part of teaching others. Right. That's my daily job. That's what I'm saying. Right. Okay. Thank you. Um, well, I've been, I, I was given a Quran six months ago. I've been reading it on and off for six months. Um, I'm trying to understand it. Okay, I'm with you. Um, All right, I'm listening to you. Yeah. Um, um, one thing that puzzles me is Surah 1016. Which okay. in the Hafs Arabic Quran says he would not have made it known to you. But in the Kumbal Arabic Quran, it says the opposite. It says he would have made it known to you. There's all sorts of noise in the background. Why is there so much noise? Are you moving the phone around or? People There's... are passing by. Well, why are you I choose to stay outside the compound so that there won't be any distraction. Right, okay, okay, okay. It's very, very hard to understand you. Okay, um, so there's different Arabic Qurans, and these Arabic Qurans read differently. I'm kind of puzzled at this. Surah 1016, the Haf says he would not have made it known to you. The Kumbul says he would have made it known to you. There are thousands and thousands of differences like this. I'm, I'm really puzzled. Actually, there is no differences in the Quran. The differences may come from the translator, and the interpreters. No, I'm not looking at a translation. I've got the Hafs Arabic Quran in front of me, and it adds an extra word. It adds the words not in Arabic. And the Kunbal Arabic Quran, I've got that with a translation in front of me. The Haf says he would not have made it known to you, Surah 1016. The Kumbul says he would have made it known to you. They they read differently, sir? I, I'm just kind of puzzled. Could, could you explain this? To me, if I may explain from the contextual meaning of what you are saying, you know, sometimes you may be... You may give a statement in a negative way to give more explanation to people to reflect over it for them to understand more rather than bringing it in a positive way that it wouldn't have made it known to you if not for something by reading the verse to the end or reading the next verse it will be clearer than you understand it now you you understand i'm talking about the arabic text there is not one arabic text of the quran there are over 30. sorry the one thing I want you to know, sir, is that there can never be two types of Quran. The, the, but there is. There's over 30. The Arabic it's, text differs. I'm not talking about the translation. Arabic text, the Arabic text can never change its form, its word, verbatim. Why is there so see. much? Why is there so much noise on your on your phone? It's like the wind now. I think I told you the other time that I'm at the roadside. People are passing by. Well, why don't you phone me when you're... Ho Italy. Look, I spoke to you two minutes ago or three minutes ago. I thought you are going to go home to a quiet room where you've got the Quran, not in the middle of the street, and you, 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 you talk to me in a quiet room. And, and you're, you know, you're... I don't want to talk. I, I don't want to talk when there's going to be constant distractions from the traffic. I want someone something quiet so I can I can concentrate. I made that very clear. I've seen my, my location. I think uh, where I am right now is better. Okay. 
Um, I'm so sorry about that. Okay. Let's continue. Um, are you? Have you ever heard of the Sana Palimpsest? What is it? Have you heard of the Sana Palimpsest? No. No. It's the world's oldest Quran. It, it only goes up to Surah 37 because that's all the Quran they had at the time. <laughs> Um, it was found in the Grand Mosque of Sana, which is the capital of Yemen, just to the south of Saudi, Saudi Arabia, in 1972. It was examined by German scholars in 1975. And since the 1990s, when um, photographs were allowed of the parts of the Sana palimpsest to go out of Yemen, um, scholars have been able to, to study it. Now, it differs from the modern Qurans in thousands of places. Um, for instance, the modern Quran, known as the Hafs, which was canonized in Cairo in 1924. At Surah 92, the Hafs says, but know that you cannot escape Allah and that Allah will disgrace the disbelievers. But the Sana, but the Sana, but the Sana palimpsest changes you to they. So it goes from second person plural you to third person plural they. And after the word Allah, it adds the words and his prophet, which had been edited out of modern Qurans. So the Sana Palimpsest says at Surah 9-2, but know that they do not escape Allah and his prophet and that Allah will disgrace the disbelievers. So that's one of many differences between the ancient Quranic documents of which the Sana Palimpsest is the most important and the modern Qurans I'm so sorry if I may tell you this yeah, sure. when we are having a discussion concerning the different version of Quran as you have said we should be talking about the Arabic text which happened to be the original text before the, 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 the Sana palimpsest, the, the Sana document, it's called a palimpsest. A palimpsest is where you write on leather. And when you want to write a new book or make changes, you scrub it out with a wet cloth. And when it dries, you write a new, a new Quran over it. Now, parts of it weren't, could, could I just, could I make, could I make my point? Could I please make my point? Parts of the Sana palimpsest weren't scrubbed out very clearly. And so after through through the centuries, bits of it have bled through and especially under Blu-ray light, you can read parts of the earlier Quran that was scrubbed out. And the verses that you can read from the early Quran differ from the more recent Quran. So the Sana Palmacest is one Quran from about 740, 750. And then it's got bits, tiny bits of an earlier Quran from about 700. Now, what do you want me to say concerning this? Well, the Sana Palimpsest differs from the modern Qurans. The modern Arabic Qurans differ from the world's oldest, nearly complete Quran. It goes from Surah 1 to Surah 37. OK, this old Quran that was discovered in 1972. It's the most important Quran in the world because it's, it's the oldest one. And it differs in thousands of places with the modern Arabic Qurans. I mean, oldest Arabic Quran making a difference from the other one from another corner of the world. We need to ignore it. What? Anything, you, what? Outside, what? anything, anything outside Mecca and Medina. Nobody can claim a book is an ancient book called Quran, apart from what was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi in Mecca, from Mecca to Medina, which was compiled by some of his companions and was later turned to a book, verse by verse, chapter by chapter, after it a recommendation by one of his uh, caliphates. If you have gone through the Islamic history, you will understand what I'm saying. Are you reading the from a script? Given, 
be writing from script. Are you uh, reading from a script? I mean. And now I can hear myself now talking in background. Talking in so background. I'm going to have to finish the call. So because when I talk, a second later, I'll hear myself speak.